Welcome to SharePoint Mastery Showcase, episode number four, how SharePoint enables surprising productivity increases with your host, Keith Hudson. At SharePoint Mastery, we help you master SharePoint one step at a time so you can control your own destiny. Music by Kevin McLeod. In the last two episodes of SharePoint Mastery Showcase, we talked about the increase in productivity that's available when your employees are motivated to apply their ingenuity and knowledge to improving their jobs. And we talked about how to create a culture that rewards productivity so that they will be motivated to do that. Today we're going to talk about how SharePoint provides tools to allow knowledge workers to achieve significant productivity increases. In order for a frontline worker to increase their productivity, these workers must be furnished with tools that allow them to be more productive. Some such tools are already in widespread use, while others are in widespread neglect. Consider the use of desktop productivity programs like Microsoft Excel that allow data to be manipulated quickly and easily. If you're old enough, you may remember the time when mathematical calculations for business, such as accounting, were recorded on paper, and the only tools for speeding them up were adding machines and slide rules. And I'm not talking about electronic adding machines. Can you imagine a business today trying to do all its accounting on paper ledgers using only a mechanical adding machine? Some small businesses may still be able to run that way, but no large business could. I once worked at an airline that started in 1983. Although I was not there at the time, I heard stories of how seat reservations were done originally on a whiteboard on the wall of the reservations room as the booking phone calls came in. Obviously, the advent of computers has made a huge difference in that business. In fact, computers have allowed airlines to lower their fares to a level, when adjusted for inflation, far below that of 40 or 50 years ago. The same is true of many other businesses where computers make large volume processing a possibility. I know many financial analysts at the airline I worked at who make extensive use of Excel and who can do amazing things in Excel. Even though IT is not their full-time job, crunching numbers is, so they have learned how to use Excel as a tool to do their jobs. Fifty years ago it would have taken a full-time programmer to use a computer to do the kind of calculations Excel now makes trivial. The computer tools have improved and our collective knowledge of how to use them has increased to the point where Excel is now a commonplace tool used by a wide range of knowledge workers. It is not seen as requiring an IT specialist. We at SharePoint Mastery believe that the same thing applies to SharePoint. We believe that the time will soon come when SharePoint will become as ubiquitous as Excel and that being able to build sites and solutions in SharePoint will be considered a basic knowledge worker skill. SharePoint has the potential to allow companies to replace many disparate computer applications and platforms with a single platform and to empower knowledge workers to accomplish many times what they currently accomplish by streamlining and automating their processes themselves without the need for an IT specialist. We must stress that the key to the kinds of productivity gains that most employers would love to achieve is to develop a culture that rewards productivity. Pay your employees for a defined chunk of work and let them figure out how to do it faster and they will also figure out how to do it better. This is a fundamental shift in the way an employer thinks about working with their employees. Instead of paying them for a chunk of time, pay them for a chunk of work and you will unlock their ingenuity and creativity. Many technology tools already exist that can help improve efficiency if the right culture is established. For instance, the book The 4-Hour Workweek by Timothy Ferris teaches how to use simple strategies to significantly reduce the time spent reading and responding to emails and listening and responding to voicemails, 
without reducing job effectiveness. Of course, the key to using these tools to increase productivity is common sense. I was once working in a position that did not usually require that I respond immediately to incoming work. My deadlines were usually measured in days or weeks, not minutes and hours. I created a rule in Outlook that informed anyone sending me an email that I checked my emails once a day, and that provided several links to FAQ-like resources that would answer common inquiries. I recorded a voicemail greeting that informed my callers that I checked my voicemail once a week and could respond more quickly to email. Both my mail auto response and my voicemail message alerted colleagues and customers to call me on my cell phone in the case of an emergency request that could not wait a day or two. And I included my cell phone number. These measures allowed me to save over 10 hours a week without sacrificing any job effectiveness. Not all workers can do as I did. It depends on the job functions being carried out by those workers. An IT specialist who needs to respond within a few minutes to requests for IT support might need to check her email on an ongoing basis. However, even in cases like those, some ingenuity and easily available technology might be harnessed to increase productivity. For instance, support requests might trigger an SMS message to that technician's cell phone so that email monitoring time is reduced. The power of SharePoint in increasing productivity is that it allows workers without programming training to create advanced business solutions. Thank you for joining us for this episode of SharePoint Mastery Showcase, presented by SharePoint Mastery, where we help you master SharePoint one step at a time so you can control your own destiny. Come visit us at www.spmastery.com. 